Hi, I'm here with Keith from Miller Interior Design. Hi. We're here at my apartment to talk about getting creative with your living space. I'm Kirsten Dunn, and this is Dunn DIY. So with the way that the layout of the apartment works, we've kind of ended up with this odd other room that is originally supposed to be the bedroom, but we put the bed up in the loft. So it's kind of this nondescript secondary space, multi-purpose for office and music and sewing and has our laundry machine and our closet and wow. a lot going on in there. Yeah. Right now we have our instruments hanging on the wall, um, mm -hmm. which has freed up a lot of floor space. Because otherwise they're in cases or something stacked around somewhere. Right. It's a brilliant idea where you've hung them on the wall. It's super easily accessible to use them, but they also look like art. Not only do we have instruments, but I also I have a sewing machine and I have a typewriter and they're taking up a lot of desk space, which is great for when I'm using them and not so great when I'm for when I'm wanting to do like computer work. That's when we really start looking into built-in cabinetry. We can create a cabinet that you can open up with a door that goes away or slides off. And all of that can open up and then close again and tuck away. Another challenge about this room has been that it has seven, eight foot high walls. And there's actually no light for that room specifically. Often I will find a slender torchier that you can place two to four in the corners of the room and really shoot light up now Again. what is a torchier? Okay, good question. <laughs> a torchier is a floor lamp with the light source that shoots up into the okay. vertical space. The intent with the small space is to just make it look really discreet and all its function is is to get light into the space. Shooting up off the ceiling and coming on back down. Okay, so tell me about your bathroom. It's been a little frustrating because it seems like there's a lot of space under the sink and it's this big open space and if I was storing something large under there, it would be really great, but I'm storing all these little things. I'm putting cleaning products down there. I have extra toiletries. I have my hair dryer, and they're all taking up about, you know, the first 12 inches, and then there's another, you know, 24 that's just right. empty space. Right. This is where the magic of other storage, auxiliary storage, can come into play. Get your tape measure out, do your inventory for all the things you know you want to store there, and take a picture of that, and, and take that to your online shopping for storage or some of the storage container stores that have some really great secondary pieces that you can tuck right into the void, and all of a sudden you have drawers and shelves and maybe even things that can slide out on, on, on some glides and that sort of thing, so you can really maximize every single bit of that volume. You mentioned kind of the dual purpose of a bathroom in a space like this. It's your everyday bathroom, it's where you're showering and getting ready, but then it's also the bathroom that you're opening up to your guests and they're right. using and how to mm -hmm. kind of balance that. Even in tight spaces, you can manage to reserve one drawer sometimes that's just empty for the, oh no, they're coming. And you can just take it and <laughs> throw it in the oh no drawer. You know, that could be great. So then I'm thinking of, other parts of the guest experience when they come into a small space where the only bathroom in the unit is for everyone. Try to find out a way to, to make it feel really great when your guests are coming in. Even you, you know, you, you count more than they do in your own home. You matter and yeah. to be able to have every single part of your experience uh, honor you is, is the part of what makes beauty in a home. Well, thanks so much for coming, Keith, and for sharing your thoughts and ideas. I'm really excited to put some of them into play. Yay, I'm happy to be here. I, I love talking with you, and it's just so great to see you tucked in your new home here. Be sure to check out our other videos in this series with Keith. Mm -hmm.